This tutorial is about adding some copyright protection to your images. In the first part of this tutorial, we'll embed your copyright information into the photo's data file. So as I've done here, open an image in full edit mode. Go to the file menu here in this editor and select file info. And as I've done, fill in your picture title and your name if you'd like to add some description or other information here into the caption field, that would be good. You go down to the box that's called Copyright Status. You'll see originally that the default is Unknown, and you want to click on Copyrighted. And in the Copyright Notice box, add your information. Now if you have a website, you can put it here in the copyright info URL and then click OK. By doing this when anyone opens your photos file in Elements they can see all your information and if they click go to URL they'll go right to your website. Up here in the left you can click on camera data 1 and 2 and that will give you information about how the picture was made, the camera that was used. You can also see this information in the organizer by right clicking and go to properties. Alright, now here is the simplest way that I found to adding a copyright notice to each one of your photographs that you're going to have posted on the web. First thing I'm going to do from the organizer, go to File, New, and Blank File. You don't need to make it too large. Let's just do this as about a 4 inch by 2 inch document with a white background and click OK. Now you can add your signature by scanning it in from a scanner or photographing it from a piece of paper. But if uh, everything will be fine by using the type tool, we'll go and select a nice type style and set the foreground color to black. And we just simply type in what we'd like to see there. In this case, it's Billy Bob Photo. And then if we want to add a copyright, all we have to do is to hold down the Alt key and on your numeric keypad type in 0169. When you let up on the Alt key, there's your copyright symbol, and then you can just finish it to. And the next thing we we'll want to do is to make it a brush. So we can go up here now to the Edit menu. Oops, have to OK this first edit menu, define brush, title it, and click OK. And that's all there is to it. Now let's apply that. Back here at the organizer, we'll just take this photo and open it in the editor. I'm going to make another layer right here.
click on the new layer icon. And this is so that when I bring my copyright brush out, I can make some changes to it if I like, instead of overlaying it directly on the original image. So now go over to your tool bar and pick up the brush tool. When you go here, it shows your presets and the last one that you made where we define the brush that brush will be the very last one in the list and it even shows you the name of it there so I'm going to click there and I take it to where I want it and click once into the image and it's done now that's obviously very large but that's why I put it on another layer before we applied it we could have gone up in the option bars and changed the size or now that it's on its own layer I'm just going to click the move tool and with the move tool I'm going to rescale it and that's all there is to it hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you next time bye bye